why we want the trees removed. So, tree trimmers are here to trim our trees. Well, actually, I should say they are here to remove both our trees completely and take the stumps out. So I think they're gonna um, take out, the, or I say cut them down today. Well guys, it's not snowing snow, but it's snowing wood chippings. <laughs> That's some heavy duty equipment they got. What's up everybody, Scott here, and of course you guys know that because this video is probably in the middle of the video you're already watching. So anyway, um, tree trimmers are here and they are working on taking down our two trees, and I guess to go into kind of detail on why we want the trees removed, number one, safety is defi definitely an issue. Um, the two trees, you know, chances are they probably won't fall. But the one is leaning like this, and if it would fall, it would either fall on the public street and cars parked down there, or it would fall and hit our house near our bedroom, and we do not want that to ever happen, either option. So that's one reason to get rid of them. Another reason is they are dirty. They are extremely dirty. They're very big pine trees, as you guys have probably just seen. Um, but I would say every two weeks they clog all of our spoutings. I mean, I'm talking that much of pine needles and branches and stuff. And then, guess what? When we get heavy rain, the water doesn't go down the spoutings and it goes overflowing and it just it's just a mess. Num uh, another reason is the needles, they fall on our sidewalk. When we walk in, they stick to your shoes. Well, then they, we drag them around in our house even though we take our shoes off at the front door. They still get drug around on our um, hardwood floor, and then it's just a mess to clean up. So overall, you know, it's worth spending the money to have them down for a lot of reasons. So that is why we're getting them completely taken down. And as you guys could probably hear in the background, they are now uh, began working. So I think they said they're going to take both the trees down today and then um, come back on a nice day or whatever to grind the stumps down and remove the stumps um, so yeah we're having them completely taken out and I don't know I probably don't have the ivy video up yet and it probably won't have it up yet but where the trees are there's ivy so I've been working on getting rid of that ivy because we're gonna grass it so everything's gonna be all grass in the front um, grass mulch stone you know when we're doing some landscaping stuff so Stay tuned, there will be more videos coming. So, it looks like they had to park uh, pretty far down to grind some of the branches. Let's see if we can show you guys if my camera is going to work right here. So, he's way up there. I think they estimate it, it's close to 70 feet tall, both of the trees. Um, they're not at that thick, as you can see, but they're very tall. And, I mean, you can even see how it's leaning. And it just goes up above. <laughs> it doesn't stop. So, 
Again, I think they said it was close to 70 feet or around 70 feet, both the trees. So yeah, we'll be glad when they're gone. No more trees, finally. No more mess. So now, um, he said it'll be a week or two until they come back to take out the stumps and then bring topsoil and plant seed. So then these stumps will be completely gone and there's still some ivy, oh, what a nightmare. That video will be coming up either before this one or after but that was a nightmare. So they are coming to fill it in with topsoil and then plant grass seed. So um, now that's all grassed. So now I'm going to have to grass all over in here yet. And we'll be landscaping, putting stone down and then mulch so we can plant in the front. So then another project will be doing the whole front porch, uh, staining it. So that's another project. So a couple projects, they'll keep coming. Hit that like button. All right, now I'm getting ready to straw the rest of the area. Well, not ready straw, put down topsoil and then uh, plant the grass seed, then straw. Alright, the topsoil is down, the seed is down, and the straw is down. So now I'm going to water it, everything. And also guys, it would mean a lot to me if you go subscribe to my channel and also click the little icon here to turn on notifications. That way anytime I upload a new video, you guys get to see it. So thank you guys very much and enjoy the rest of the video or check out all my other videos.